Seven wickets from James Wales sees Durham score a remarkable victory over Leicestershire. Durham and Leicestershire went into their final day. Despite the follow-on, Durham still managing 233 for one in their second innings, Smith and Steele returning to the crease in the morning. And Smith didn't waste any time bringing up his 87-ball half-century. The pair continued to push on, and despite some nervy moments, their partnership soon surpassed 100. But some tight bowling soon paid off for the visitors in the eighth over of the day. Rain with the breakthrough when he trapped Steele, leg before wicket. Smith and new man Clark continued to push on with the bat, both players finding the boundary. Clark added 25 before he fell victim to Parkinson, the ball caught by Ackerman. 14 runs were added before the break, lunch coming up with the score 323 for three. Smith the first to go, caught Dexter, bowled Griffiths. Two overs later, Richardson was on his way back to the pavilion for a duck, Griffiths again the bowler, and he would find yet another in his next over, Collingwood removed for 15, Ackerman with the catch. 15 runs were then added, but Griffiths would find a fourth wicket when he trapped pointer LBW for 13, and new man Rivington was sent on his way by the very next delivery. The ball caught off Griffiths bowling, giving him a quite brilliant five wicket haul. McCarthy and Whale were the two batsmen brought together for the ninth wicket, and they managed to contribute some runs with some fine shots and halt the collapse. But Ackerman put an end to their partnership. McCarthy removed as the ball was caught and bowled by the South African, with McCarthy out for 16. Whale continued to add runs, but the innings was fittingly brought to a close by Griffiths. Durham 403 all out at T. Whale, the batsman to go for 38. Whale did his best for the home side in the afternoon, but after the loss of seven wickets, Leicestershire needed only 148 to win, with over 40 overs left in which to do it. Carberry and Horton took to the crease in the evening session to begin Leicestershire's second innings. The opening pair came out with intent, a few boundaries added, but the first wicket fell in just the fifth over, Horton caught by Collingwood off the bowling of Rushworth. Ackerman was the new man in at the crease, but he only managed five before he was trapped LBW, Rushworth the bowler again. New man Cosgrove added a few, but also departed early. Whale with the delivery, Smith with the catch, and in the next over, Rushworth claimed his third victim of the innings, Hill trapped leg before, out for five. Carberry and Dexter added a few valuable boundaries, but the collapse just seemed to continue for Leicestershire. They soon lost Carberry, courtesy of Whale, LBW the decision, Carberry gone for 22. Eckersley joined Dexter at the crease and they started to form a partnership. But with 18 runs between them, Whale struck for the third time. Eckersley caught behind for 15. Another partnership in the teens ensued before Rain became Whale's fourth victim, Markram with the catch. And just after Leicestershire had brought up their century, Whale completed his fifer, the crucial wicket of Dexter his reward, the 33-year-old clean bowled Parkinson and Griffiths tried to dig in, but only lasted two overs before Wales struck once more. Parkinson the man out, and the 24-year-old completed his best first-class figures of 7 for 32 with the very next ball, as he hit Aaron Plum in front to wrap up a remarkable turnaround from the home side. Durham victorious by 46 runs after being forced to follow on. Markram, Steele and Smith the heroes with the bat, but no doubt about the man of the match. James Whale with 7 for 32 in the second innings, giving him match figures of 9 for 138. Durham's first win of the season coming in dramatic style.